Good morning, afternoon, even this case may be in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer, and we're, this is um, Zen Adventures in Minecraft. We are playing Minecraft 14W05A Snapshot, and it's uh, vanilla, snap, vanilla Minecraft. There's no mods or anything loaded. And uh, I'm going to go over to PV, uh, Panel Vision Server 2, and uh, we're going to join that server. I want to show you a couple of things there. I saw Kenny did a video the other day, and he talked about trading and stuff like that. But he didn't get it into it in very much depth. <coughs> and uh, I wanted to show you uh, the where's, the when's, and the why's. And that uh, trading and that kind of thing is important. So, uh, you know, Boo Kitty is down here whining and making noise. So if you hear cats meowing... It's not in the game, it's Boo Kitty cutting up today, having some kind of an issue. This is a nether portal. Um, this one was created by accident, actually. Uh, you have to sync them up. You have to create the, the portal in the nether where, uh, in the corresponding spot to where the one in the overworld is. And I, in the process of me doing that in the nether, I accidentally... Uh, used positive figures instead of my instead of negative figures and so I placed the nether portal in the wrong place so the game's way to so to solve that is to put a counterpart in the overworld and it put it here and this is uh, actually a big cavern that, that is now my home and and I've been working feverishly I it's been I've been very lucky a lot of diamonds and stuff and it doesn't really look like a cavern but because I've got floors and stuff but up as you can see down here this is a this is a cavern and uh, when I first came in there were diamonds right down there where that black stone is that that uh, that's obsidian and there were diamonds right down there and I have done nothing but uh, just seems like every turn I find more diamonds and stuff not a whole bunch but I've managed to turn them into a whole bunch thanks to trading and stuff like that so this is another portal and we're in we're actually under the ocean and there's no land anywhere near here so I'm gonna go through this portal and what I've done is we currently have three nether portals because of my mistake we only had two but we have three and so we've come out of we are now in the nether uh, this is the other side of that nether portal we just went into and when you're traveling in the nether, for every one block that you travel in the nether, you're actually traveling eight blocks in the overworld. And that's why I made these hallways, to protect us from the things that might you know, go bump in the night out there, that might shoot us and hurt us. I just made a hallways, and then we have them connected together, a walkway from one portal to the next portal to the next portal. And that way we can travel relatively quickly from one place on the map to another in relative ease. I'm headed over to the Temple Village, and uh, that's what kind of got us all playing together on this server, was that this is a very unusual scene, in that uh, a temple, a desert temple, has been merged with an NPC village. So an NPC village has got uh, a number of small buildings, a couple large buildings, usually has a blacksmith shop and has gardens and from the gardens you can get you know food uh, is but this one we went to where the blacksmith shop should be there is a temple here now there's actually two of these it makes one temple each temple has two of these columns but when you went inside for the blacksmith shop which is indicated by the iron bars and the lava uh, instead, you ended up inside a temple, and Kenny was the first to find this, and he raided it, and then we uh, we, cap we, we we captured the villagers and put them all in little spots so that we know where they are and we know what they do. This is a farmer here, and uh, I've traded with him so much that he will not trade me wheat for emeralds anymore. He, he just won't do it. I can still trade him potatoes raw potatoes, and I can still trade him carrots, but he will not trade me uh, <laughs> any wheat. So the more times you trade with them, the more uh, the more uh, offers that they have, the more things that they will trade with you. And uh, 
I, there was a guy back here that was only trading uh, an emerald for a pair of leather pants, which was stupid. Uh, f 12 leather for one emerald, or w 3 emeralds for a pair of leather pants. I didn't really want the leather pants, but I traded with him anyway because I knew that he would have other trades. And so he did this, so I bought one of those too, and now I can buy saddles off of him for 9 emeralds. And I want the saddles, because eventually I want to have some horses, if we ever find any. So this is the center of the temple. Uh, Kenny and I and Jay Fry, of Sir Tilt, Zen, and PV. We all have chests here. These are our private chests. That's why they have our names on them. And it's just the honor system. They're not locks or anything on it. And then this is a community chest where we put stuff that we don't need that somebody else might be able to use. You know, a pinch or, or just for whatever reason. So this is a community chest. So we have a number of different villagers here and uh, this guy will trade rotten flesh for an emerald. He'll give us the emeralds for rotten flesh. I only have 14 right now, but that's his trait. He'll also trade, if you give him gold, he'll give you emeralds. And if you uh, uh, give him an emerald, he'll give you four redstone, some lapis, Nine for an eye of Ender, and I've gotten I bought two of those off of him already um, in the course of doing business. And uh, this guy here, this guy is a toolsmith, and he will take normally take coal, but I've traded with him enough that he won't take coal from me anymore. And he will trade emeralds for tools. And that pick right there. I've got right there, I bought one of them off of him, and I also bought a few of these off of him, this diamond pickaxe, and I ended up, by putting them together, I ended up with a Fortune 3 from a Fortune 1. And you'll see why that's important in a little bit. So, you can trade your tools up, you can trade your, your weapons up. Then, uh, Sir Tilt and I found the first two diamonds here, and then we had to find, I found some more diamonds and made a pick in order to get obsidian. With the obsidian, I made the nether portals, and also we put together the first um, enchantment table. And the enchantment table allows you to enchant your enchant books, enchant your weapons, enchant your tools, and enchant your armor. So we've been busy together. Uh, this is our supplies in this chest here paper and wood and uh, lapis you need to trade to to um, to enchant with so we're we're just we, we're harvesting the the cane we're turning it into paper and then we're making bookcases which makes that table stronger and we're doing a we're doing a pretty good job here we got a few bookcases here and you just put your whatever it is that you want to enchant you just put it into the table along with a little lapis that combined with whatever your xp is will give you an enchantment on that particular item. I'm not going to enchant that now, just showing you how it works. So then, you can take those enchantments, those enchanted items with low enchantments, and you can go to an anvil. It takes about 32 pieces of iron to make an anvil, but you go to the anvil, and you can take those two, two things of the, of the same type, for instance, an iron pick and an iron pick with efficiency 3, you can put both of them in here and you'll end up combining the two. So if you have two things that are enchanted that are of the same type, you can combine them. And that, then you end up with, I combine three diamond pickaxes that were Fortune 1 in order to get this Fortune 3 pickaxe. So why is that important? Why would I even bother? Well, let me just show you why. I'm going to go back over to... Uh, Let's go over here to the little house. This is a new stone that's, that's now in uh, Minecraft. This is andesite and diorite. And I just like the way it looks. And I've got like a killing field out here. This is to get XP. Uh, I just stand in my doorway and I shoot at the creatures. And then I collect the XP. And then I use the XP in order to do enchantments and to combine things. So this is why, uh, with this sword that I've got looting 3, breaking, unbreaking 3, and knockback 2, I have managed to get a lot of ender pearls. This is only 7, I actually have many more. Um, also ha have uh, killed some 
zombies and the like who had armor that was enchanted and so I brought it back up to speed on the anvil and I now have some enchanted armor there. Went to the nether and got a gas tier. So doing quite well by uh, enchanting and trading. There's 16 ender pearls. Ender pearls kind of a, a cool thing. You take an ender pearl and you throw it and wherever it lands you'll be teleported to. So we're going to head back over to my ocean, my little ocean retreat where we started at. And I will show you the results of the labor. is isn't just that I have nice tools and, and all that stuff, although that certainly makes the job easier. I'll just jump through this nether portal here. This door over here goes to the ocean temple. My walkway to it. There's a door in my own face. And I will show you the, the net result of uh, doing the trading, doing the mining, uh, enchanting your weapons, your armor, and all that kind of stuff. The end result is that you become much more prosperous in the game, and life gets a little bit easier for you, hey, Junior? So we just go in here to the ocean mine. And so, I've gone to the nether, I've got glowstone, and I am now sitting at 43 diamonds. I've got iron all over the place, gold all over the place, plenty of lapis to trade with, uh, enchanted all kinds of stuff, horse saddles, lots of food, um, got an infinity book that's been enchanted, and an infinity bow. Uh, infinity bow means I don't have to have but one feather in my inventory and I won't run out of, out of uh, I'm sorry, arrows. Won't run out of arrows as long as I have at least one in my inventory. I carry 32 in case somebody else has a bow and they need arrows, but all I really need is one. So that's what uh, the result of that is. These horse saddles and these diamonds and all of these enchantments and stuff would not be possible. Uh, if not for trading with the villagers and uh, and doing you know some of the other work, so there you go. That's an answer to that question. I hope it's a little clear to you now uh, why you would want to enchant, why you would want to trade with the villagers, and uh, and you know it's funny over here on the Phantom Vision server is that uh, over a period of time. You get to know places just like you would know places in your neighborhood, and things happen while you're playing the game together, and you'll often refer back to them, or you'll say, oh yeah, remember that house that we were at where this and that and the other happened. Um, so over a period of time of playing the game together, then the history forms, and uh, it's like these are real places, uh, although they're not, obviously. But you refer to them the same way that you would roll places, and you uh, uh, you have a history together playing the game. You have events that happen and stuff that you talk about, and you know I'm still talking about the the time when I saw Frank over on another server uh, beat an Enderman down with just a piece of chicken that he had in his hand, which is almost impossible. It just doesn't happen. Endermen are not something you really want to mess with, with without any armor or anything. But he did. He had nothing on. He just took a, took a chicken and kept hitting the Endermen until the Endermen died. So that was pretty amazing in itself. But yeah, that's what playing together uh, gives you uh, kind of experiences together in, in the game. And uh, then we'll often refer to those experiences. Uh, I've got a little bit of stuff and a lot of fun. 
So there you go. Until next time, as always, this is Zen saying you be well and careful out there.